it's that time of year when you better start or you should have been already looking for tomato worms on your tomatoes um, yesterday I noticed I had some defoliation on tomatoes out by the highway and I noticed um, defoliation in my kitchen garden as well and I did find some dark brownish gray worms eating tomatoes and I uh, found a couple and I pulled them off and tossed them to my chickens well then today I noticed more defoliation and this time I noticed tomato hornworms and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about just in case you don't know what a tomato hornworm looks like there's a tomato worm out there I can tell because see all those limbs with no leaves on them that's the sure sign that there is a tomato worm out there I found one yesterday and I guess he had friends so I'll go hunt can you see the tomato hornworm? Tomato hornworms are green like the plant. And they blend in. Let's zoom in. See them now? See them? So they're not easy to find. I'll be out here for the next little bit picking them off and I got a bucket of soapy water to put them in you're gonna get dizzy hold on I've got two hands and one one of them is holding a bucket of soapy water yeah see that's just what all that is is some cold water with some dawn dish soap in it or whatever kind of dish soap you got it ain't got to be dawn I'll put them in there and drown them and then after a few of them are drowned, um, I'll feed them to my chickens. Let's go over here and get this guy. Let's get this sucker. All right. Tomato hornworms have a, uh, I got a flag at the back of my head, have a horn on them, on his hind end. See it? And it looks deadly. It looks like it could get you good. There's his mouth. And those little feet just hang on tight. He suctioned on there good. That horn, he can poke you with it all day long and it's not going to hurt you. But that's what he tries to do. That's his only defense. That and he just looks really big. So we're going to stick him. He's suctioned onto my finger pretty good. Oh, missed him. But see how big he is? Now these come, they come in different sizes. They uh, can get bigger than that. And they can be teeny tiny. And what I'll do this evening is come out here with a black light. It's a flashlight and it's a black light. And I'll shine it. Should make them, they'll kind of glow and be a lot easier to see. Normally, tomato worms like to go up high. See how the tender leaves are, are what he's eating or she is eating. Um, They'll also check your peppers. Peppers are from the same family. And they'll eat them just as much as they will the tomatoes. They are ferocious. That's the only word for them. They, they will clear the leaves off quickly. This is a banana pepper right here with this cucumber latching on. And I don't see anything happening there. But the one I found yesterday and then I found another one today was on this one. And it was just a little dark. About half the size of what you just seen me find. Something, see, the leaves are missing. 
So there's one out here. And that's the thing. They do not stand out. They blend in. So if you find one, you got 10. And that black light makes them glow. And they're a lot easier to see. I only got like one chicken and my Muscovy duck that'll eat them. So it's not like you could put your, you know, a bunch of birds and stuff won't eat them because they secrete tomato juice to make them from the plants. And um, the birds don't like that. But I do have a, a white, small white lagern that will eat them and the Muscovy ducks will eat them. But I'm not, <laughs> I'm not letting them in my garden either. I ain't got much left in the way of tomatoes as it is. But thing is, I'll probably go back later when I'm working on this video and see tomato worms in the video that I missed. They're just, they're not easy. I knew there was one on this one though. See all the green leaves gone? They'll work them over, and I had some tomatoes that, that they had already eaten on, little uh, quarter-sized tomatoes that were eat up really bad. The garden out by the highway is, uh, I just put some surplus tomatoes out there that didn't sell, and really I did that kind of like a trap garden there was a squash plant out there too um, I figured maybe the bugs would hit it since they were on it last year pretty good I thought well maybe they'll hit it instead of coming to my kitchen garden and it seems to have lasted a while I mean this is the first I've noticed of the tomato worms and I know they were in they were in Conway uh, you know, three weeks ago, probably three or four, four weeks ago, and that's not that far from us. Do you see that? See, that's the little dark one. The one I found earlier was bigger. It was bigger than this one. Um, he blended in just because he was hidden. But they, they secrete that tomato juice if you squeeze them. And this is that's damaged, see? Yeah. Got him a nice little hole. Another one. One of the ways you can see them is they'll have, uh, they'll leave behind poop, which is normally black. Uh, almost as big as rat or mouse poop. Pretty good sized stuff. A lot of people will see that hanging on the leaves and they'll be like, does anybody know what this is? On my tomato leaves? These big black, what is this? Is this eggs? No, that's tomato worm poop. That's normally the first thing you notice. For me, I always look out here at the tops of my plants looking for those tender leaves to be eaten. All right, I decided to come up here by the hoop house. This is where we put some spare tomatoes that we didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, I thought, well, I'll just check. And I see this one, and as you can tell, that there is a tomato worm somewhere around here because you see 
all them. <laughs> I got a butterfly or something after me. Can you see the tomato worm? Let me zoom in a little bit. See his little feet? Same. He's locked on good. And he's also a pretty big one. But this white stripes and those little eye looking things, which is to, det to deter predators, um, glow under that black light flashlight. I got my black light flashlight on Amazon. I think I paid like um, $12 for it. See, he's already stuck on my thumb. I don't like them because they tend to squirt out uh, that tomato vine poop juice, see, hanging out his butt right now. That. And, ugh, it's just, it's just nasty. Let's see if there's any more. But he just about got all the leaves off that plant. It ain't a big plant, but he had done some damage. Some of these got knocked over in a storm the other night, and I need to put some more, or get Jay to put some more posts in the ground so that now to my here. Let's see if these Polish will eat them. Here. Oh, try again, Kim. Try again. Chick, 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 chick. Let's see what he'll do with it. He's got it. Oh, he might. Once they taste it, they're not so sure sometimes. Like I said, I only got one chicken and some ducks that really. I hope you eat it instead of leaving it because if you leave it it will crawl back over here growing up at my grandma's when you found one you could stomp it or pinch it in half um, I'm not much for doing it that way. It grosses me out. You go on, little Polish chicken. You eat that big old worm. <laughs>